All right, for number 28, I think even though it is a punctuation question, this is one where you could just trust your instincts. Uh, we have a list of three things, and I'm sure you've used lists in your own writing many, many times, and hopefully you know how to punctuate them. So if you look at this, the list is uh, starts here with including, right? Including, oops, including treating chronic condition, chronic and acute conditions, performing minor surgeries, and prescribing some medications. So it's really three things, treating, performing, prescribing. So that and is just finishing the list. There's no real reason to separate out the last piece of this list with a complicated punctuation mark, like a semicolon or a colon. That's weird. We don't ever do that. Maybe we use a colon to start a list, but this is the end of one. That, that just seems random. So I don't know why I would use those. And then... What's going on with this? Why would we use two commas here? That makes no sense. So that leaves us with D. And that, hopefully, is what you expected. Like, there's a comma to finish up the list here. It just, there's an and as well, but it's a list. There's a comma. Some people leave this comma off. Uh, there's a whole thing about Oxford commas that you can go into the internet and learn about, and that's what this is. But honestly, just... We don't really have another option here. We need to put this comma because every other option is terrible. So if you're one of those people who normally leaves this comma off, the Oxford comma, you don't have a choice. You have to put it here because we need something. All the choices make us put something. So you have to kind of let go of your weird Oxford comma rules and, and put it there. So if you're really interested, go on the internet, look it up. There's tons of stuff about it. But I think this one's pretty obvious.